This is the real Tom Rose, and uh, this problem is pretty easy to solve if you know uh, one little tidbit of information, which is if you take a regular hexagon and you connect all the vertices like this, then what that creates is six um, equilateral triangles. So I know that this triangle, A, A, O, B, that's an equilateral triangle. And since it's equilateral, what I know is that the length of AB is equal to the length of AO. And they tell us AB is 7. So I know that AO is 7. AO, of course, is the radius of the circle. Once you know the radius of a circle, you can figure out the area, because the area of a circle is equal to pi times the radius of the circle squared. So that would be pi um, 7 squared, or 49 pi, which is the fifth answer choice. So if you knew that, you'd be done. Um, how could you figure that out if you did not know that? Um, what you would have to do is you would have to calculate the area of this, or calculate the value of this angle. And the way that you can do that using rules that you should have memorized, right? So the you know knowing that a hexagon turns into six equilateral triangles, you may not know that, but um, but you should have memorized the uh, the fact that the angles in a uh, in a, uh, a shape, in a regular shape, are e sorry, the angles in a um, in a shape. Sh the sum of all the angles should equal the number of sides minus two times one eighty. And it's a super weird formula, but uh, it's one of the ones that you need to have memorized. So in this particular case, we have the number of sides is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4, so we, the sum of the angles should be equal to four times, uh, 4 times 180. So that is 720. If you take 720 and you divide that by 6, um, what you will find, so that's the, uh, the sum of all the angles, but in a hexagon, there are uh, six angles. So if you take 720 divided by six, what you will get is 120. So they say it's a regular hexagon. A regular means all the angles are the same. So you take 720 divided by six and you get 120. So that tells you is um, 120, let me show this in a different color. 120 is the value of this angle right here. You divide that by two and you get 60, which is the value of half of it. Right? Again, it's regular, so we know that the, the two angles on either side are the same. So if you sum them together, you should get 120, meaning you divide by 2 and you can get 60. Well, once you know that that's 60 and this is 60, you know that this is 60, and boom, you've just proved that you had an equilateral triangle. So if the question becomes much longer if you don't know about that hexagon equilateral triangle thing, but you still can do it, and that's how.